What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here with a tutorial of all of the boss battles within the game. So on today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go through every single one of the bosses, beat them without getting killed, and just have a good time just so I can show you guys what the bosses are like. So if you guys have missed the one player 100% walkthrough that I did, you can go check that out. Or if you just want to see these awesome bosses get wrecked by me and my maxed out hero shot, definitely join up with me. So here we go. Squish, squash, smash. The mighty Octo Stomp is boss number one. So let's jump into it. All right. This is going to be very fun. Uh, now, I saved off enough orbs in order to max out my gun, which is so cool. It's like literally a rapid fire machine gun now. So here we go. Let's get this guy. And I'll give you tips and tricks while playing so that you guys can kind of see what I do and then you can replicate it when you guys play the game. So here we go. This guy is awesome. I see his little legs there too. I love that. His little humanoid robotic legs. Uh, with this guy, just make an escape route really quick so you can get away from him. Um, and then you should be good to go. Uh, all we have to do is pretty much climb him and then explode his tentacle. It's as simple as that. So do it three times. Now, while he is kind of messing around over there, uh, what you want to do is take a look at the patterns on his sides because they're going to mix up every single time. He takes about three hits in order to die. So make yourself an escape route. And while he's flying over there, you can see what pattern he makes. Pretty much go all the way up the pattern. Press X to jump a little bit um, while you're climbing upwards to go a little quicker. Um, and you should be good to go. So here we go. I'm moving on. Yes, now you can see that he's got panels that move from left to right, up to down. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. Of course, this is his last, um, his last hurrah. So make your escape route kind of like what I'm doing over here. Escape a little bit, and then you can easily find out where to paint this guy. And as you can see, because I was able to quickly press the X button, I was able to make it in the fractions of a second that it took. So whenever you're climbing upward with the squid, always keep on jumping. All right, there we have it. Bam! Ladies and gentlemen, we beat it. And that was very simple. All right, so as usual, we're going to climb forward. We're going to get our, our little orbs over here, of course, and we're going to get him. Bam! Saving the Zapfish, beating the mighty Octo something or other. Octo Stomp? What's his name? Yes, that guy. We beat him. Yes, Octo Stomp. Done. Very quick. Okay, let's uh, warp over to boss number two, right over here in the second area. Bam! Shooting the sneeze, the dreaded octo nozzle. Dun dun dun. Okay, so here we go. We'll give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how to beat this boss very easily. All right, now we're going with orange, which is very fun. Okay, the dreaded octo nozzle. Yahoo! All right, this one's a little bit tougher, I want to say. So there is the zapfish. He's going to get taken under like he usually does. And here we go. This thing's going to open on up. Looks kind of cute, right? Got a little nozzle there. And he's got little holes and sneakers. So that little tentacle and or piece of sushi be slash belly button slash whatever it is, that's his weak spot. Uh, so you want to go ahead and smash that. Uh, once you smash it, you'll be able to octo jump uh, or squid jump all the way across um, onto his back. So now right over here, he's going to go on to his level 2 form, um, where he's going to have two layers of his um, little tower, I guess. So we want to aim for his little nub slash belly button there once again. Alright, so pretty much, you'll want to move around as best as you can. Ooh, watch out for that, you might get killed. Okay, there we go. And as soon as he does that, he will reveal a way of jumping on over and going from there. Bam! Very cool. So you got to watch out for the balls that he rolls outwards because, as you can see, I got hit by one of them. But luckily for me, it didn't get. Uh, I didn't die. So here you go. Same concept, but he's got three little orbs: two on one height, and then one on the other. Or maybe there's four. I don't know. I don't remember. So let's kill this dude. Okay, yeah, he goes for his super ball. Yeah, he's got four all together, so we're just going to attack all four. Now just keep on swimming away from him, just so he's not looking at you. Once he's looking at you, he'll be able to shoot one of those balls at you. So don't allow him to. Okay, paint him up. 
pretty much squid jump on over there and destroy him for the final hit. Very simple. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? I like his little sneakers. They're little robotic sneakers. That's kind of, that's kind of silly. <laughs> the design on this one is very cool. So, uh, like usual, um, you can actually go over here and you can see his sneakers. That's pretty fun. I like that they added that and that they didn't just explode him. So that's kind of cool. All right, so we're going to grab our little orbs. Uh, the secret scroll, uh, you automatically get it by beating him, so you can pick that up. But anyway, here we go. Zapfish time. Done. Okay. The dreaded Octo Nozzle. We beat him. That was pretty simple. All right, so let's move on to boss number three. Uh, let's go on to boss number three in the third world, flying right over there. Here we go. Roll with the punches, the Rampaging Octo Whirl. Now, those of you guys who watched the Splatoon Direct, uh, which Nintendo hosted a while back, um, you guys saw a boss, and you're like, oh my god, boss battle, this is going to be great. This is the boss that you saw. The Rampaging Octo Whirl. All right, so let's get him. So as you guys can see over here, he kind of looks like a Clam Pearl if you play Pokemon, or a Fortress if you play Pokemon, so he's pretty much that. Now, with this one, there's a really easy gimmick that you can easily get him with, and I'll teach you really quick. So here we go. Um, he's got a little derpy face there, no worries. A little tentacle in the middle there. With this guy, what you want to do is just pretty much make a pool wherever he's kind of aiming towards you. So as you can see over here, I made a pool. All he's going to do is roll right into my pool of ink. And we're not going to be afraid at all. That's it. Done. Okay, well, it wasn't that big enough of a pool. So let's see if we can do it again. All right, here we go. Make that big pool. There we go. So now he fell into the pool. Make sure that you have enough ink and you learn how to reload, just like me. <laughs> or go from there. Or you guys can power up your uh, your ink reservoir by leveling it up with the orbs. So anyway, same concept. You just got to make sure that there's a lot of ink on the ground. Because if there's not a lot of ink on the ground, then he's not going to fall into this pool. And also make sure that you have a um, an escape route too. You don't want him pushing you off or potentially crushing you. Okay, there we go. I think we made a pretty big enough pool. Oh man, he, not good enough, not good enough. Watch out. Okay, so here we go. Let's make this big pool. Let's make it big. Low ink, uh-oh. There we go, that was pretty big. So there we go, that is level two. Now as you can see, he's kind of rotating the entire arena. Now it'll be a little bit different because he's gonna add the glass. And uh, you guys have known from playing the one player mode that some of the ink is not necessarily latch onto certain areas of uh, ground or texture. So with that being said, we may need to ink up as many of the areas as we can. Okay, so this isn't going to be so hot. Hopefully he can go in that. Uh, nope. Yep, you got to watch out. So you may need to ink a couple different places in order to actually get him. See, like right here now, I don't have any spot for him. It's like really inked. See, he just goes right through it. So if you're lucky, you can get like all these little different areas kind of inked together and then get him to come on over to you. See, like this. He's totally going to get inked in there. There we go. Done. He fell in. Keep an eye on your ink levels and you'll be able to splat him in no time. So bam, there you have it. Pretty cool. I like the gimmick of that level a lot. I thought that was really fun. Bam! Splat the screen, and we are golden. Let's grab our stuff. You guys get the uh, secret scroll by doing so. There we go. Get the secret scroll, and we are done. There we go. Give him a high five. Bam! Okay, roll with the punches. Uh, the rampaging octo whirl, octo ball, whatever you want to call him. That was a cool one. I liked him. Okay, here we go. Uh, yes, roll with the punches. Rampaging octo whirl. We're going to go to level four now. Okay, level four. Bam! Alright, so here we go. Inkling is on the menu. The Ravenous Octomaw. Now, I would say, hands down, that this is my very favorite boss battle within the entire game. Simply because it reminds me of, I don't know, the childhood days of playing N64 and... You'll see. I'll show you. 
So this guy's really cool. All right, so he's got some teeth. Here comes the um, squid that's going to take it. And yes, there we go. So this cute little guy, look at him. He's got some like, some mesh armor, it looks like. And he's got little, um... anyway, so what you want to do, let him come near you. You need to make an escape route really quick and then start shooting his teeth. Okay, so once his teeth start showing up, um, just aim for your splat bomb um, by pressing the D-pad and changing it. Um, and then throw a splat bomb at him. As simple as that. Uh, you can throw a splat bomb, you can uh, throw the other bomb. Uh, seekers will not work um, because the Seekers will actually hit his lip. So anyway, rinse and repeat. Now he's got a dual layer of his teeth. So like usual, make an escape route. Uh, my escape route's gonna be straight up ahead. Uh, oh my god, oh, go escape. All right, so once you escape, shoot his teeth out again. Okay, yeah, didn't have enough um, enough opportunity for that. Okay, so now watch out. His teeth actually will come and attack you. So don't worry about that. You guys should be fine. Escape route again. Okay, so now he's gonna see you. He's gonna come up from under you, make an escape route, and shoot his last teeth. Done, once you shoot his last teeth, you can throw a grenade into his mouth like so. I wanted to test out the other one to see if it worked, and it does. So there we go, get a little bit of ink, shoot him, explode him, and then rinse and repeat. So now he's gonna have a third layer of teeth, and you wanna watch out for that, because it'll take a lot more hits. So I've gotta refill up on ink. He's got his golden teeth now. Very nice. Okay, I got a full ink refill by doing that. That was nice of the game to give me that. Okay, make an escape route, quickly turn around. All right, we're gonna give him a, a teeth cleaning. Oh, he's been visiting the dentist here. Okay, so now he's going to fire his teeth at us. Now, it's pretty cool right over here because you can actually shoot those teeth and destroy them, which gives you a head start for the next area. And I almost got all of them. No worries. He's got one tooth. <laughs> he's got one tooth. Okay, make an escape route like usual. You can probably shoot his one tooth. There we go, done. I'm gonna throw the grenade right into his mouth. Make sure that we have enough ink to destroy him. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, we beat him. Done. Too cool. By all means, my favorite boss battle. I think that is just the depth involved with it. Like when I first played him, I'm like, oh my god, he's got a hole in his mouth. Do I throw a grenade in there? Is this Star Fox 64 where I throw a grenade in Andross's mouth? Or what? So, I don't know. I just thought the nostalgia factor of that was pretty awesome. I love this boss. <laughs> all right, Inkling is on the menu. Done. So that was the fourth boss. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, the final boss. This is gonna be very fun. Okay, here we go. Final boss is going to be right over here. Um, he's actually flying all the way in this UFO. Let's finish this. Enter the Octopot King. Now, this boss battle is so intense. Um, I'm gonna be lucky if I don't actually die because the first time I played this on my actual run through of the game on my Let's Play, I died at least three or four times uh, because it's it's very long, it's arduous. There is a lot going on, and it really puts all of your you know your skills to the test. So I like it. Let's knock it out. Let's see if we can do it without dying. Okay. So yes, yes. Spoiler alert, of course. That's why you're watching this. So here we go. The final boss. So that is the zap fish that we're trying to save. And here comes. Dun dun dun. The final boss crossing his arms like he's upset. Then he's a DJ. Don't worry. Throughout like this final boss, we're gonna dance in the middle of it. Watch. God, no snow globe can contain this DJ. Okay, great. Yeah, he, he says that after you beat him the first time. Okay, so yes, here we go. So now what you have to do is you have to make sure that you have um, really good firepower um, and you shoot his fists right back at him. Um, all these little um, missiles that come at him, it's not really that big of a deal or that come at you. They're not that big of a deal. If they hit you, they're not going to kill you. They're just going to you know put a lot of ink on you. So keep an eye out for his fists, 
because what you want to do is you want to shoot his fist right back at him. Whenever you see like some ink come out of the sides of his fist, then you'll be done. Okay, so now right over here, he's going to start shooting uh, these Octo missiles. Shoot these with shutter shades on them. I didn't even notice they had shutter shades. There's going to be three of them that come out. You got it. Oh, you got to hit all three. See, as I got hit by that thing. Bam, you're going to be fine. Done. Now, if you miss all three of them in a row, you're going to have to do the entire sequence again. So don't miss all three. But pay attention to your surroundings so you don't get owned by anything. So here we go. This is going to open up a new area. Uh, sometimes there... Okay, so now he's going to shoot a wave beam at you. That wave beam is an instant kill, so don't get hit by it. Oh, see, I missed the extra second punch. So he's going to actually do both of his punches again. So just keep an eye out for it. And watch out for the wave beam. The wave beam will destroy you. So this one I know. The punch is coming. Got it. Do the second punch. Bam. Once we get the second punches, we're all set. So let's fly over to this next area. Uh, luckily for us, there is actually a... Ooh, body armor. If you can get, watch the punches. Here's a one punch. Here's a second punch. Done. Okay, I think we can go to this next area. I think that's another... Ooh, that's a secret scroll. Okay, good. We're fine. Okay, just keep an eye out for the punches. One... Two, done. All right, here we go. We've made it. Now, whenever you hear that sound, that like diamond sound, that means that he's gonna aim for his wave. So watch out for that. So that's kind of a tell whenever you're paying attention. Because there's a lot going on. I mean, between these missiles, um, the, the wave, Okay, so peep this. All right, so now he's gonna shoot his little missiles at us. All three of them we have to catch while dodging. Oh, see, I missed it. Okay, I missed that first one. Make sure you have enough ink too. Okay, so he's gonna shoot another one. Okay, there's number one. He's gonna shoot a second and third. Second. And third, while dodging the wave. Nice. That's it. Okay, moving on. Stand on this launch pad and you guys are going to be all set. Let's launch upwards. Let's finish this guy. Okay, this is a little close. You don't want to get too close to him. Bam. Double punches. You want to push him back a little bit. In case you guys missed the body armor or got hit during any of these uh, fights, you can easily go ahead and uh, get the body armor. Oh, God. Yeah, watch out, too, because he'll start spawning enemies now. And uh, there are plenty of times where the enemies will attack you, and they'll probably kill you if you're not paying attention. All right, so let's go on these sponges. Let's kind of climb up, get a little bit closer to him. Okay, Ink Zooka. Okay, we could use the Ink Zooka if we wanted to. I'm just going to stay right over here and wait for his punches. Okay, here comes a punch. Oh, God, a little bit. Ooh, I made it right on time. Nice. Okay, watch out for these sponges. Pop all this stuff. Okay, we're going to stay right over here. Watch out for the enemies that he spawned, I'm telling you guys. One of them killed me during my Let's Play. He just came out of nowhere and just, like, destroyed me. There we go. There's one. There's two. Done. Okay, so now we can actually squid our way over here. There's another body armor in case you need it. Okay, there's the wave. We heard the sound of the wave, so we're fine. All right, here we go. Okay, so now he's gonna shoot his missiles. We've gotta watch out, because there's so many distractions happening right now. Okay, last missile, ooh, man. Last missile ended up hitting me. So it came by really quick. So like I said, same concept of watching out for all of the distractions. 
And you can use this guy in the middle here to pretty much clear out all the ink that possibly happened. I don't think I got that one. Come on, dude. Shoot the missiles at me already. Here we go. There's one. His fists are gonna... Oh, man, it pushes it back. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Distractions, guys. Here we go. We got it now. Launch it. I don't care. We're just gonna play back and forth volleyball with it. Okay, so see, they punch it back. Ooh, there we go, finally. All right, I'm gonna grab this body armor really quick. And we're gonna be good. As you can see, one of the uh, little underlings threw a grenade at me and it totally wrecked my body armor, so watch out. All right, now this part's gonna be pretty interesting because uh, aside from all the punches that he does, we're gonna have to follow him through some invisible ink platforms, which is not fun. Yeah, watch out for those things. Oh my God, here we go. Come on, give me another punch, let's go. Punch me! Ha <laughs> ha, bring it. I love this boss. All right, so we're gonna travel across here. Don't fall into the gaps. As you guys can see over here, there's even more. Oh, oh, got him. Okay, any punches coming? Just keep an eye out for him. Okay, he's got his four missiles that he tosses out like normal. A really good power-up for this is having a, um, having like a maxed out gun, along with uh, at least a level two of ink capacity. Okay, now keep it. Oh my god, that thing's just fucking enemy. Keep in mind, you can use your super move if you want to. I'm just choosing not to. Bam! Bam! Okay, now this is a little bit more tricky because it's an invisible spot. Um, I'll stick right over here and allow him to punch me a couple more times. Punch me! Because if we advance a little bit, he'll be too close for us to handle. Bam, just like that. All right, here we go. Excellent. Okay, wave beam after wave beam. Here we go. I think this is the part where he does a couple more punches. Yeah, and then... He's gonna launch his missiles at us. That's always exciting. This is like legit exciting. It's time to drop the C base. Ah, oh, come on, I forgot about those. Those are circular, oh my, yes, yes, missiles, got it. The circular um, orbs that he drops down spawn into enemies, so you can pretty much ignore everything else. All right, he's gonna punch that back. There we go, all three, baby, got him. You can ignore everything else, but once those, um, once those circular orbs come at you, make sure to kill those, because those are the little uh, enemies. I'll turn you into a radio edit. Okay. Agent three, come in, Agent three. Radio override activated. About time. And now he breaks out, and we're gonna break into dance. Okay, ready? Okay, sorry. We just have to dance a little bit here. <laughs> yes! Best dance ever! So embarrassing. Do we have to take away your Krabby Cakes, Gramps? I think he's just lonely. Uh, we should probably give him a call soon. Ha ha. So Agent 1 and Agent 2, uh, spoiler alert, that's Callie and Marie. Sorry. The Singing Sisters, or the Squid Sisters. Oh, oh, almost, almost, ooh. -hoo. Okay, enemies, yep. Okay, so now things get pretty hectic. 
because now uh, you got some Octarians that get spawned. Um, you got very, very narrow um, platforms. Come on, I could have sworn I did that. Yeah, the platforms are very narrow. So let's actually just go over here to this place. Oh, that's a little bit too close for comfort. Let's go back. Okay, that one just kind of fell off. <laughs> that Octarian fell off. I just got to wait for his punches. Okay, we heard the jingle for the laser. Oh, come on, really? How did I not get both punches? He's gonna come up now. Yeah, if you don't get both punches, he will continue forward. Okay, there's a sound for the laser. Watch it. All right, gotta get both punches. Sound for the laser again. Here comes one punch. Here comes another punch, we got it early, good. Okay, got some body armor, very nice. Uh, that's a little... Oh! Wow, wow. Okay, that's a little too close for comfort. Here we go. Now we're on this very small platform. Here comes a punch. One. Two. All right, now we'll move on. All right, break all these boxes. All right, we got ourselves some tuna. Or a super move. Watch out for the Octarians that get spawned. Oh my god, see, like, he almost killed me there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, there's a lot happening. Just keep an eye out. Bam! Got him. Zipline straight over. Another body armor in case we need it. We do not net right now. Okay, wave. Oh, Octarian, I see him. Okay, now. Oh, God. Punch! Oh, get out of here. There's a lot happening, as you can see right now. So now this is like so narrow that we've got to be very diligent about this. Okay, here comes a punch. Oh, got him. Nice. Oh, got him. Yes. Okay, good. We're moving on. This is almost the last part. Make sure that you um, ink all of this area right over here because you're going to need it. Oh, my God. To sidestep all the laser beams. Okay, sidestepping laser beams. While hitting all these punches. Oh, so epic. Okay, that's it. One more. This is the final stretch. Final stretch. Here we go. I'm a dub stomp you into oblivion. Okay. Go for it. Okay, so make sure. Oh, yes. The missiles. Just keep an eye on the missiles. This is it, the last one. Ooh, man, that got me. Okay, he nailed me with it. It was so close. I think if I had like one more uh, frame, I would have been able to do it. Where did this guy come from? Okay, I need to sidestep. Whoa. All right, here we go. Shoot me a missile, please. Okay, he's not shooting any missiles yet. But pay attention for when he does. That's gonna be epic. Come on, let's go. Instant kill, death ray. Got it. Let's go, man. Okay, here we go. Missile time. There we go. Pay attention! Oh, for this stupid guy. Oh man, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. There's so much happening. All right, got it, got it. Get another missile, please. And I don't like it when the freaking Octarians come out of nowhere and start shooting me, and I'm not expecting them. Here we go. Oh, come on, it exploded again. Dang it. All right, we're gonna make it. We just have to eliminate all the threats. Okay, no worries, no worries. Here it comes. We got a lot of ink. One. Two. 
And three, done. Finish him, bucko. So stand right over here, spray this clown, and he is out of here. Not again, so sad. Crossfade to black. Wow, tell me that wasn't a tough boss battle. Whew. All right, there we go. Completely exploding into obliterate. Oh my God, he's done. All right. Save that last little dude. Bam! Throw a grenade right at it. Enter the Octobot. Nice. And we ended with our body armor and our super move in order to give ourselves 20 additional orbs. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. That is it. That is all five bosses within the game Splatoon. If you guys have enjoyed the Let's Play and all of this awesome tutorial, definitely smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section which your favorite boss is, um, just so we can kind of have a conversation about that. If you guys want to see a lot more tutorials and or my 100% walkthrough of the entire game, definitely click in the description or right on screen is a little eye with a um, little circle with an eye on it. Click on that and a playlist will drop down. So love the game. Uh, I thought that all the bosses were great. The final boss was amazing. It was very long and arduous and so cool. So I'm pumped up. I can't wait to see you guys online uh, with some Splatoon battles. And uh, yeah, click that subscribe button for even more. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.